According to the Alzheimer's Society, there are around 800,000 people in the United Kingdom with dementia. One in three of people over the age of 65 will develop dementia, and two-thirds of people with dementia are women. So what is the best predictor of who will get dementia, and what can you do to reduce that risk? In this video, I will describe recently published research on the subject that might surprise you. A study published in the medical journal Gerontology last month confirms that leg health now tells us a lot about brain function in 10 years' time. Dr. Claire Stevens and her colleagues from King's College Hospital London studied 324 female twins aged 43 to 73 years old. The twins took two neuropsychological tests 10 years apart. They also took a test to measure leg muscle strength at the beginning of the 10-year period. The results showed that more leg power at the beginning of the study was associated with less cognitive change 10 years later. The twin with the stronger legs actually performed 18% better on memory and cognitive tests than her less fit sister. Brain scans also showed differences between the fit and unfit twins, with the sister who had the stronger legs having significantly more brain volume than the other, that is, less brain shrinkage. So the twin with the stronger, healthier legs at the beginning had a bigger, better functioning brain 10 years later. Because this is a twin study, the effects of heredity and genetics have been cancelled out. So, leg muscle strength, which is a global measure of leg health and mobility, is a strong predictor of brain health. The message is clear. To look after your brain and keep your marbles, look after your legs. Peripheral neuropathy, arterial disease and chronic venous disease all adversely affect mobility and the ability to exercise and so they have an adverse effect on leg strength. Looking after your leg health preserves mobility, independence and leg strength in later, in later life, and the research from King's College Hospital suggests that looking after your legs now also protects your brain function later on in life. Well, I hope you found that useful and informative. Do please remember to subscribe so that you can keep up to date with the latest on leg health. My name is Dr. Haroon Gadraj. Thank you for watching.